What's up, Wooly Mantis? Wooly Mantis is a good name. That's like a really good name. For like a band? That's a good band name. Wooly Mantis? I like that. Praying Mammoth. That's good too. Aren't those good band names, Johnny? Eh? You're saying eh? Oh, sh- It is your band name? Hell yeah. Well, that's a good- I- Band names are so hard. Mostly, I'm, I think I'm pretty happy with this piece all the way through to like here. I'm just gonna see if we wanna do anything to the second half, you know? Yeah, Thermae is so good. Well, if you wanna hear it from the board right now, um, here. Turn everything up. Just, ther let's turn just Thermae up. So the entire signal right now is going through Thermae. So again, so this is dry. That's the dry signal here. So dry and then Thermae. Yeah, it just makes it super cool and like lo-fi kind of when that ship gets stretched. I love that. Anyway, you get the idea. That's what's going on in there. I was supposed to be listening to this transition. Let me listen. So it's a, yeah, it's about like, okay, yeah, we capture a cool section of audio from the pedal board. And then it's just a matter of, you know, using that to create some extra textures around it. Maybe. And then arrangement of those textures. And by arrangement, I don't just mean like the placement of the audio files, but also like this filter that's taking the high end in and out of that one track and this uh, tremolator here that is bringing the volume of the track up and down over 12 bars. Andy, do you manually trigger record on the Mood Drollo channel these days? I think you used to do it by MIDI. Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. I don't have my MIDI thing set up right now, the, the Bluetooth MIDI iPad thing that I was using. So yeah, it's 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 manual currently. Yeah, the the only kind of ramping I'm doing or whatever is uh So I've got the expression ramper here that's currently doing stuff on Microcosm. Uh and then I've got the eight step thing back here which you can't really see that's controlling sunlight sometimes. But other than that, I'm just using dip switches for that stuff. So But yeah, so Connor, the thing, also that transition sounded really great to me, I think. Um, I think one of the one of the cooler things to be done with Mood is, and, and I was doing it via MIDI for, for a little bit there, but I'd like to figure it out again and maybe in a better way, which is, yeah, so have MIDI control, uh, and I know you can't see it very well, but like this button, like that button is just sampling audio. So if you press it, it just like, okay, we're freezing what was just playing in the in the pedal or whatever. Um, so yeah, if you can have audio kind of coming through all the time and then via MIDI, you're randomly like pressing that and sampling it and then turning it off, like that would be uh, really, really cool. And it, it would be, yeah. And it is, it is possible to do with MIDI. I, I believe in the manual it's like there's a certain MIDI CC number and then like you got 0 to 127 value associated with it and anything above halfway is going to be, is going to activate that switch and anything below it is going to have it off, you know? 
I believe that's how it's set up. So you could really do just like an LFO or even just like a square wave LFO above 63. Yeah, probably something like that. Hype train, hell yeah. All right, what's the end sound like here? Because if the end is good, then I think I like this. I like this arrangement. So this will be like the end of the piece right here. So it should be a little bit still fading in from this track. Yeah. kind of comes back again. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. I love this guitar. This is so cool. doesn't know what's going on these effects and stuff are in the guitar right now like I have all I have happening on the pedal board is a little bit of reverb from this that's it the, del the delay and the frozen tape thing are all in the guitar
How's that? 